15. I'm Selena. And I'm Chad. Your four questions. And we're your news anchors for Miss McMahon's class. Everyone, please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now let's go to Ms. Gruber, our guidance counselor, for a few recognitions. Good morning, trailblazers. We're going to do our wheel of fortune today let's give it a good spin okay here we go i'm going to take i believe five today three let's dig down in four and five okay here we go first one Oop. Sit Lolly in Mrs. Coker's class. Taylor Allen in Mrs. Hurst's class. Jose in Mr. Miller's class. Uh, Evie Schramm in Miss Keaton's class. And Marissa Lee in Mrs. Keaton's class. And that's our five for today. And we'll see you down here in the Media Center, and I'm going to send it back over to the news team. Today's lunch is sweet fish nuggets with garlic breadstick, grilled cheese, or cob salad croissant. Side items include tomato soup or broccoli and cheese potato skin. Fruit is also available. Now let's go to Miss Keltner and Dr. Poole for a few announcements. Good morning, Trailblazers. Happy Thursday to you. Dr. Poole is at a meeting today, so I have a very special guest with me, Miss Kara Draper. We'll get to you in just a moment, okay, Kara? Okay. Thank you. All right, we just want to say happy birthday today to Omar Azagagi. Happy birthday, Omar. Come, and come on down to the front office. We are celebrating with you. All right, so Tuesday evening, we were at the Youth Art Reception at the Leroy Collins Public Library downtown, and this resident artist was there, and I wanted to kind of ask Kara her thoughts about her artwork and her experience. So good morning, Kara. Good morning, Ms. Collins. Can you talk into the microphone, honey, so we can all hear you? There you okay. go. So Kara, tell me a little bit about, um, what do you like about art class? Well, um, I like who I um, got stuck with for this year and it's really a treat for me because my mom and dad are not sure if they're gonna move or not. My mom and dad are waiting for his job to oh. respond to him. Okay, but what do you like about art class? Yeah, um, I like what I did. Um, my art means a lot to me awesome. and like my teacher, mm -hmm. she's really nice. Awesome. Who is your teacher? Give her a shout out. Um, she's Miss Salis's. That's right. And explain the artwork you did that got displayed at the youth art reception. Um, I did a caterpillar with a star leaf. Nice. And what was the process that you made that caterpillar? Um, it took me a little bit of a long time. Mm-hmm. Okay. Over five minutes. Over much. five minutes? Okay. Yeah. What was it made of? Um, it was made of clay. Awesome. And then how do you feel about how did you feel about being in the art show? Um, I felt like I was kind of famous. You are you were. You were a trailblazing artist, a star, that's right. And uh, do you do art at home, Kara? Um, yes. I do lots of it. Lots of art. I do crayon art, I do paper art, I do foam art. Awesome. I even paint my own tree house because it hasn't been painted yet. Wonderful. Well, very good. Well, here's a highlight of one of our resident artists. And Kara, high five. You did great, girl, at the art show. And keep it up, and hopefully you'll have another project in there next year, right? Okay. All right. 
Moving on with uh, additional announcements, I want to say congratulations to all the students who earned AR points yesterday. You earned 192 points, and we have two days left, so keep reading, Trailblazers. We want to meet our nine-week goal. Also, there is no tag today. Miss Rockenstein will be helping with makeups for FSA, so no tag today. We are watching the weather for field day tomorrow. If it gets too soggy, we're going to try to go to Plan B under the covered area. But again, if that concrete gets slippery, as we know it does, sometimes we'll have to think of another uh, a plan and we may have to postpone field day but as of right now it's on we will let everybody know if we do have field day tomorrow make sure you have your two dollars for Kona ice and a water bottle available we uh, are continuing teacher appreciation this week we had a wonderful reception at the Miller's house yesterday thank you to Karina Miller for opening up your lovely home to all of our faculty and st staff I think everybody had a wonderful time out there I know I did uh, I'm sorry I had to leave early but it was great and let's see today we're going to be passing around some teacher appreciation gifts so I will be uh, delivering those shortly let's see uh, don't forget teacher planning day if you're looking for something to do go down to the Florida Historic Capitol Museum. I want to give a shout out to Miss Molina. She just completed her beginning teacher program for Leon County Schools. Woohoo! Way to go. High five, Miss Molina. Congratulations to you and Miss Noel, who was her mentor. So thank you, teachers, for all you do. All right. Uh, speaking of teacher appreciation gifts, we've got two. Miss Denton, you're the recipient of the award or this little trinket from administration. And Mr. Miller, you're going to get this award and um, celebration package package from PTO. It's Lucky Goat Coffee and a $10 road, Texas Roadhouse gift certificate. That's on behalf of PTO. So thank you again, teachers and staff, for all you do this um, week and throughout the entire year. All right, Kara. Oh, we got to go back to the announcements. Let's go. <coughs> Let's go back to Mrs. Gruber for a few announcements. We're back, Trailblazers, with our star students. We've got their bright and shiny faces and a substitute for someone who's absent. So, Jose, start us off. What did you get caught doing? I cleaned up the classroom after the kids left for the day. And who nominated you? Mr. Miller. Awesome. Wow, Mr. Miller, hearing your name a lot today. Okay, Taylor, what about you? I helped a student with work. And who nominated you? Olivia Woodward. All right, good job, Olivia. Okay, you're up. I did some. I got. I got caught doing something that the teacher didn't tell me to do. And who nominated you? Lexi McIntosh. <gasps> awesome way to go, Lexi. Keeping your eye out. Okay. Evie. I shared something of mine with someone. And who nominated you? Angelo. <gasps> Angelo, good job. I love all these students keeping an eye out after each other. Okay, now for our substitute. What did Sit Lolly get caught doing? She always, she got caught always offering to help in the classroom after school. And who nominated her? Miss Coker. Awesome. We got a mixture of teachers and students today. That's way to go, guys. And here is your Starbuck for the school store just in time for tomorrow. And give that to Sit Lolly, and we'll see you tomorrow at the school store. And give them a pat on the back and say, way to go. Now we're sending it back over to the news team. Go to Ms. Bias for an announcement. Good morning, Trailblazers. And I'm here this morning to talk to you about a little bit of wellness. You have heard Ms. Keltner all this week talking about how we encourage you to do our physical activity in the morning and those extra laps in the morning. Where if you look at this graph over here, this shows your brain where you're sitting quietly. And then it shows your brain when you do 20 minutes of activity. And I know your teachers want to see you all light up that brain before you start school. And we are one of the few schools that had the opportunity to have um, play time before school. So we need to take advantage of that. And why do we want to go for the goal? Well, because we're trailblazers. And we probably will be the only school in the state of Florida that uh, will achieve that goal status. But not only that, in the last 10 years, only twe 12 schools among 50,000 schools have been able to achieve that goal status. So um, we're going to work on it. And I know you guys will be awesome doing that. Um, I had the privilege to meet 
this young man that we're going to watch a uh, short video from him. When he was in third grade, eight years old, he decided to initiate wellness at his school um, by playing before school. He did teen sport. He, they did a um, vegetable and fruit garden. And he came to Leon County. He's from Orlando, Florida. And now he's an ambassador for the Alliance for a Healthier Generation. So you guys, you can help your peers. You can help your friends. And you can say, come on, let's go. Let's go play in the basketball court. Let's go a few laps. So with all that, I just want you to watch this short video from Bobby Senna. Or even just eat healthy. I was selected as an NFL Play 60 Super Kid, so I got to go to the Super Bowl, hand the ball off to the referee before the game started. And that's all just to show kids, you know, that physical activity is important. It goes hand in hand with health, and it also helps your mind, your body, and your future. Um, another key part is working together with people, working together with kids, working together with adults. Too. You know, we have to get adult support. We have to get adults such as all of these adults in this room. We have to get kids such as myself, ones at the school, um, to you know combat childhood obesity, make this a healthier generation. Uh, and I think that's just such an important message for everybody to take home. And another important part of combating childhood obesity is raising awareness about the topic, uh, going to organizations and raising the uh, raising awareness. It all has to do with yourself. You have to find it in you, you know, to take that motivation to go outside, play for 60, eat healthy. Um, and as well, once you find that in yourself, you can go to other people and have that same passion, that same energy, and get influence them to do the same. Making yourself open to kids, which I think is a really good topic because kids, as I had said, you know, kids feel very, I, I guess, shy is the word I can use. Um, to talk to adults, so I, I guess if you make them feel more in a comfortable environment, that would help. Um, that, that's coming from me, and I'm 12 years old, so. You know, my friends, they were just staying inside more. They were playing more video games, so I knew I could make a difference. So I sought out programs such as Fuel Up to Play 60, which led me into the Alliance. It, it's been one awesome journey from when I started at 8 years old, seeing my friends, you know, becoming less active, eating at the local fast food restaurant, and, you know, look at me now, it, you know, it, it all happened because I wanted to make a difference. So it's as simple as that, that motivation, that drive to go out into your community and make a difference. Our rock solid word for the week is endurance, the ability to withstand hardship, adversity, or stress. Athletes need to develop endurance to be successful in their sport. That's, That's it for today's, today's edition of WDTS. Have a rock-solid day, Trailblazers. Bye.